Alright, if you're trying to hang up some blinds, it's not too hot to do. I started taking down some old uh, curtains that I had. So what I'll show you is how to install some new blinds if you want to take down some old sheets or some old, um, you know, Venetian blinds, whatever you may have to install some new vinyl uh, steel blinds in your windows. Uh, they're pretty easy to put on. This video will show you how to put them on the inside of the window frames. If you are putting them on the outside of the window frames, it's not too much different. So it should help to answer a couple of questions that you have by watching this video. I get these blinds at a local Home Depot, so they're pretty inexpensive. Um, so what you're going to get in the kit, most of the kit should have about the same thing, is you're going to get these brackets to hold the ends of the blinds to the window frame. Uh, there's two clips right here. I'm not going to use these because we tend to raise and lower the, the blinds quite a bit, but they hold the bottom of the blind to the window sill if you wish to install them. There's a middle, metal bracket here for the middle of the blinds. If you're doing um, an install that goes on the outside of the window frame, this install, we don't need it because it goes on the inside of the window frame. Uh, we've got a pile of screws and two covers here that slide into the ends to help keep the ends of the blind firmly in place into the brackets. Uh, it really helps to have a pair of scissors and a cordless drill, battery power drill of any type will make your life a whole lot easier. So I'll show you what steps to do next. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install um, these brackets up into our window frame on the sides right up here. And you just want to make sure that these ends are pointing out. <laughs> Excuse me, so you can slide the um, blinds into them. And you know, you want to make sure you have them the right way because if they're this way, the wrong way, then you have nothing to hold the blind in place. So make sure. You know, double check the instructions uh, by the manufacturer. Make sure that these are facing out, and um, that these little covers right here are on the outside of the window frame, so that you can. You'll see later on in this video what I mean. So you can place the blinds in. These slide into lock to lock the blind in place, so it doesn't come out of the face of the bracket. So we're gonna install the brackets up into the window frame corner with two screws, and I'll be back in a second. Right, so here our brackets are installed in place. I had to put two screws on the inside of the window frame. Um, depending on how hard the wood is on the window frame, you might have to get a little pilot drill and drill like a little pilot hole to get the screws in. These are pretty soft. They're like pine window frames, so these screws that came with the kit easily went into the wood. It didn't take much effort at all. So you do that side, and this one on this side. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get our blind and you're going to place it in and then you can put the covers on it to hold it in place. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so all you need to do is place the ends right in there and come over to your other side, place the end of the bracket right in there and now your blind is in place. Uh, make sure your hook for the handle is on the side and the drawstrings are on the side that's not flipped around. Uh, when you install it. These should be facing out so that you can easily pull on the drawstring and um, open and close the blinds easily. So now what we need to do is I need to put these little sliding covers in place and this helps to lock the blind of the place so it doesn't pull out of the channel. This one go to the other end and do the two. And that's going to slide into place there. And now I have to unravel this and adjust the uh, drawstring. And these two little clips I showed you earlier in the video, they clip on to the outside on this kit. They clip on to the outside of the um, bracket. There's like a little... Um, lack of a better word, it's like a little vinyl piece that slips in between them. It's like a little trim piece and that'll make it look better. So these tabs kind of clip up and over the blind. There's one. And then let's get out to the other part here. And 
is too, and then they snap into place. And then you take your trim piece if your kit comes with one. And then it's literally like another piece of blind. And it's gonna go right into here. And you go to the other end. And to go to that end too. Just like that. And then it kind of covers the little um, sliding sliders that hold it in place on the bracket. So it'll look like that when you're done. Now next, you can put the um, handle on, and we can grab that, and the handle literally has a hook on it, like this, so you just hook the hook into the handle, and it'll hang down, and now I'm going to pull the string for the blinds down. And I'm going to adjust the string. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. A couple of um, little plastic uh, notches, or little plastic discs on the string for your blinds. So what you want to do is you want to loosen these up and bring them all the way up to about two to three inches from the top. They're actually little stoppers, so if the string happens to break, the string doesn't go up inside the blind and you lose it. Um, it'll prevent that from happening. So you basically just have to loosen them up. You try to do this with one hand while I do the video for you. And you can grab the loop on the top here. So what I did is I loosened up the loop um, on the little plastic piece and I brought it to about you know three inches below the top. Uh, that was you know, per the manufacturer's instructions. So that's what I did and that should work out pretty good for you. Now I'm just going to do the other side. All right, when you're done, um, you're going to have more than likely the strings to be way too long. So what happens is, like with the shade all the way down, they're below the sill. And when you pull the shade up, they're going to come below the sill even more. We have, we tend to have a bunch of little kids around the house all the time here. So I, what I did, you can kind of cut them to any length you, know, you wish. What you should do is when you pull the shade up, the blinds up, the strings are going to come down and measure, you know, the level that you want or the length that you want, the strings. Um, hold your finger in place, you know, use your, your two fingers as a placeholder, then cut the strings with a pair of scissors, then put these on right here. Um, so these are really high. Again, you know, I have little kids in the house and really want to mess with them too much, but when we pull them down, the side you'll see that they do come all the way down to almost you know level with the window sill so they're not on the ground they're still up fairly high so they still look halfway decent when the blinds are open and then we want to shut the blinds with some privacy uh, kind of limit the sunlight you know they go back into place and again you just cut the length of the pair of scissors and you just tie a knot you slide these little um, things on the end and you know I put like four knots on the, on the side of this so that when you pull them on it, uh, the knot doesn't come out of the little hole up here and you lose the, <laughs> the little handle at the end. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. I always have all kinds of stuff that we're doing around the house. So, uh, you know, we're always making repairs. It's an old house and we'll show you how to do some pretty cool repairs along the way. And we do some fun stuff too. We do some cooking recipes and some stuff with foils and ATVs and show you how to wrench on that from time to time too.